Hello everyone, I'm Tony Fontana with 99P Labs, and today we're going to be talking about the Automated Vehicle Dataset, or otherwise known as the HDD Dataset, and I'll talk a little bit more about why it's referred to as that, but for now let's just jump right in. So let's jump in and talk a little bit about the intro of this dataset. Driving scene understanding is a key ingredient for intelligent transportation systems. To achieve systems that can operate in complex physical and social environments, we need to understand and learn how humans drive and interact with traffic scenes. And thus, the automated vehicle dataset can help you do that. This dataset is composed of 104 hours of driving data to understand driving behavior and reasoning. There is LiDAR information, video, and CAN data that helps describe all of these trips. There is a total of 137 trips in the dataset with an average duration of around 45 minutes each. Collection date ranges from February 2017 to October 2017. And the image here over on the right, you can see the different sensors attached to the vehicle and their different field of view and things like their resolution. This image on the left describes the different events and sessions that happened within this dataset and you can see their geolocation in the San Francisco Bay Area. And here on the right is an example of the video and imagery we get from these different sensors like the video cameras attached to the vehicles. You can see things like left turning events, a pedestrian crossing, U-turns, different um, visual events that you can use image processing on. Here's some of the metadata around this AV dataset. Per session, there is one parquet file detailing driving events and one video, and these are paired up by session ID. So this is for the AV dataset. The HDD dataset, which I'll refer to in a little bit, has eight files and they are not parquet. That's some of the differences. The data size is around 130 gigabytes with a total drive time of 104 hours. Um, the locations of these driving events are suburban, urban, and highway areas. Some of the sensors on the car are a camera, LiDAR, GPS, IMU, and CAN devices. And some of the tags are driving behavior and causal reasoning. There are four different types of sensors on the vehicle with three video cameras with a resolution of 1920 at a frame rate of 30 hertz and uh, one on the center of the vehicle, one on the left and the right. There's also a LiDAR sensor at a spin rate of 10 hertz with a field of view of 360 degrees and a vertical field of view of 26.9 degrees. There are also gyros, accelerometers, and GPS signals at 120 hertz. And there's also a vehicle control area network, which is a CAN device that provides various signals from around the vehicle. Things like throttle angle, brake pressure, steering angle, yaw rate, and speed. And these are all captured at 100 hertz. Let's talk about the newest and current data set, which we're calling the Autonomous Vehicle, or AV data, and the difference between that and the legacy data set, which is HDD. The current data is our newly processed data set that has aggregated the data into session-based CAN, or Parquet files, along with the associated video and image files from each session. There is one Parquet file and one video file per session. The previous and the legacy dataset, which is HDD, is separated by tables and is a larger file size. We have multiple iterations of this legacy data, and it is non-aggregated and stored in CSV files. There is eight CSV files and one video file per session. So I'm going to do a basic breakdown of the schema, and then I'm going to jump a little bit more detailed. So we can see from the three sensors, we're tracking data in this data table that is in Parquet format. Again, this is the current data set. We have things like Unix timestamp to speed, yaw, steering angle, longitude and lat latitude, the session ID from the CAN sensor. From the IMU sensor, we're looking at brake pressure, the left turn and the right turn. And GPS, we have the GPS course, the GPS yaw, the GPS pitch, and the GPS roll. And now let me show you where you can find a little bit more information about each of these columns. On the 99P Labs developer portal, you can get more detailed about the schema by looking at the data dictionary section of the automated vehicle dataset page where you can jump to it here or from the docs page above. 
but here you can see the unit that each of these columns is stored in and the description of what it actually means. So we could see that the GPS course is the direction of the vehicle um, with respect to the surface of the earth, the yaw is the vertical rotation angle from the GPS device where we have yaw up here, which is the vertical rotational axis captured from the cam. You can also see things like left turn is the bin binary indicator for the left turn signal and the right turn is the binary indicator for the right turn signal. So hopefully this helps you find important information in the columns of this data table. And if you have any questions, please reach out to us at the support section up here. Or if you want to help improve our documentation, you can click this button right here. I hope this got you excited about the automated vehicle data set. And if you have any questions, don't forget to reach out.